Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed my flawless foundation routine. And yeah, if you want to see how to get flawless foundation for fair dry skin, then go ahead and keep on watching. The first thing I did was cleanse my skin with the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. And then I exfoliated with the Simple Sugars Green Tea Facial Scrub. And then for my moisturizer, I use this Strivectin Stress Relief Multi-Action Moisturizer. And I love this moisturizer. It gives a very pretty glow to the skin. So I just apply that all over the face and neck. And always after applying my moisturizer and my serums, I always like to lift up on the skin. I just heard that it's good to do that. I'm not really sure why, but yeah. So then for my primer, I'm using this one called the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. Kathleen Lights raves about this primer, so I figured I'd give it a try. And so I'm applying this all over my entire face. Normally, I don't apply a pore filling primer all over my face but this one is quite liquidy so I figured it would be okay and then for my foundation this is my favorite foundation it is so full coverage and it has a very beautiful finish this is by derma blend it's their leg and body foundation but I use it on my face obviously you can use it all over your body if you want to cover tattoos that's specifically what it's made for that's why it's so full coverage but I just love the finish of this foundation. It is a bit dark for me, but where I bought it didn't have a shade that was lighter, but I did figure out that they do carry one lighter shade, but I really wanted to show you guys the formula of this. I'm pretty sure I've used this foundation in a video before or maybe a couple videos, but it is literally my favorite foundation and I know it's not the right shade, but I will pick up the right color. This one is 10 in and they have a zero in, so I will get that one. But I honestly just use this foundation anytime that I really need a full coverage face or want a full coverage face of makeup. And what I'll do is just go in with a lighter color of a powder and bronze up the skin a little bit and it'll be fine. So then for my concealer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. concealer and this is their new camo concealer. How many times am I going to say concealer? <laughs> and I am just applying this in the same areas that I normally do, areas that I tend to get red and the areas that I just want to highlight or add a little bit more coverage to. And then I will blend that out with the Beauty Blender sponge that is dampened. And then for flawless skin, as far as contour and bronzing goes, I like to lay down a layer of cream bronzer, and I love this one by NYX. It is in the shade light medium, and it has the perfect cool tone contour bronzing stick in it, and it's literally perfect for fair skin tone. So I just apply that all over the areas that I'm showing you right now, and then I'll blend that out with the same Sponge. And the reason I lay down a layer of cream contour before I go in with my powder um, contour shades is because for fair dry skin especially, it just looks so much better when you lay down a layer of creams before you do the powders because it's just going to look a lot more flawless when you blend the contour powders on top of it. Same thing when it goes for liquid foundations, you have to set them with a powder and it just looks so much more even and flawless. You guys will definitely be able to tell this just blends out so beautifully 
and I literally have not found any other contour shade that is better than this one as far as color wise goes for fair skin so if you guys know any that has like a cool tone to it that's affordable definitely let me know because i'm always on the search for cool toned cream contour sticks or any kind of cream contour products let me know in the description box if you guys have a favorite. And then it honestly depends on what kind of foundation I'm using. And I sometimes have to go in with a setting powder and sometimes I don't. But with this specific foundation, it is a little bit tacky. So I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun powder because it's just so good. And it's like $6 at Walmart. It's so affordable. And if I just use a very, very small amount, I can use this underneath my eyes and it won't look cakey or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm also using this powder for my all over setting powder. I'm just using a very little amount. I'm not adding any more to the brush. I'm just pressing it into the skin and I am not trying to use a lot because I have dry skin and it just does not look good when I have too much powder on but if you ever do put too much powder on it's okay all you got to do is spray your face with some setting spray and then go in with your beauty blender sponge or any kind of damp sponge and press it into the skin and it won't look so cakey And then for the contour shade, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Cool Beige Foundation. And I just use this as a contour shade because it's really cool toned. And I'm using an angled fluffy brush by Real Techniques to do that. And I just apply that on the same areas that I applied the cream contour shade. And then for blush, this is the only one that I normally use. It's the NARS Orgasm, and it looks very pink and intimidating at first, but it's honestly so sheer. You can build it up, but it's so sheer in the beginning, and it has a really pretty glow. I don't normally use blush, but whenever I do, it's normally this one or one that I have by Tarte. And yeah, I just thought that looked really pretty. And then for an all over face highlighter, I'm using the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo and I'm using the more champagne side. And then before starting my eye makeup, I like to spray my face with some hydrating mist or any kind of setting spray to lock in all those powders and creams and make them become one. This one is by June Jacobs. It's their Neurali Hydr Hydrating Mist and it's one of my favorites. It smells so, so good. And then for my brows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. And I am just lightly feathering in the sparse areas of my brows, keeping them very, very natural today. And then of course I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that same highlighter shade and my inner corner as well.
And then for my eyeshadow today, I'm using the Tarte Pro to Go palette, and I'm taking this lighter shade right here and placing this all throughout the crease with my It Cosmetics blending brush. And I'm really just blending this from inner corner to outer corner and making sure this color is nice and buffed into the crease. So right when this cut off, I had no idea that my storage was completely low. So I was sitting there doing my makeup the entire time, not knowing that it wasn't recording because I don't have a monitor, I just film on my phone. So I thought it was recording the whole time. and. So yeah, sorry I didn't get to finish the rest of my makeup, but this video was mainly focused on the face makeup, so I'm glad I got that over with, um, and I'm glad that actually recorded. But I wanted to let you guys know the rest of my makeup because I'm very bad at remembering to do this, so yeah. So I use this Tartist, Tartiste Pro To Go palette. And for the crease shade, I used this one, and then I added just a little bit of this to the outer corner for a little bit of definition, but you can't really see it all that well. I didn't want it to be like super smoky, so I just added a very little bit, and then I went back and blended it out with that shade right there again. The all over lid color, I used the Hard Candy Attraction eyeshadow. And it's just a really pretty bronzy all over lid color. That's what that looks like. And I just put that all over the lid with my finger. And then after that, I did winged eyeliner on the top with the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. This is one of my favorite felt tip eyeliners for doing a wing because it has that super small precise brush on it and I really wanted to show you guys me applying this because if you watch my last video the one where I was showing you how to not do eyeliner I was really wanting to show you how to do eyeliner again with a different product so I will do an in-depth video using this specific eyeliner because it looks so good and it's the end of the day now and it still is on completely even on the inner corners and normally on the inner corners that's where it comes off on me so yeah i will do an in-depth eyeliner tutorial if you guys are interested in that i know a lot of people have trouble doing eyeliner when they're beginning in makeup so if you guys want to see that then let me know down in the comments and i will definitely film that video for you guys and make it super in-depth just about eyeliner and yeah so bare minerals lash domination is one of my favorites and then for the lower lash line i was originally going to just do regular black eyeliner and just be like normal but i wanted to do a little bit extra so i used the stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the shade turquoise and it's a really pretty like turquoisey aqua color i think it's so so pretty i swatched it over here earlier when i was trying to do the video but it's what that color looks like that's on my lower lash line and then to set that eyeliner i used this eyeshadow palette that i kind of made um it's just a sephora z palette and it's got all kinds of single eyeshadows, some Mary Kay eyeshadows right here. And then these are just a bunch of different brands. So I used this shade, which is kind of like that same turquoisey baby blue color. Morphe's Breakfast at Tiffany's eyeshadow. 
and it's honestly one of my favorite aqua eyeshadows. And then for mascara, I use the Essence Lash Paradise Volume, Sculpted Volume Mascara, and I recently got this, and I've been trying it out. I've heard a lot of really good reviews on this mascara, so I figured I would try it, and so today is my second day of trying it, and I really, really love this mascara, and especially for the price, I think it was like $5, I ended up getting it for free because I've used points and rewards, and coupons so yeah really good drugstore affordable mascara if you're looking for one a liquid lipstick I use the NYX liquid suede in the shade jet set and it's just like a really pretty dark blue and then for my favorite part of the video which I'm so mad that I didn't get this on video because if I get to highlight more than once, then I'm just so happy, and that's what I did. I used this Wet n Wild I'm So Lit highlighter, and this is a new one for me as well. I got it whenever I got the um, mascara, but it's just a really pretty champagne highlighter, and it looks like that show you guys real quick i use the morphe m501 brush and the wet n wild coconut primer water just sprayed the primer water onto the brush so i'm just going to quickly show you guys i just spray the brush like this both sides and then I dipped a little bit from just the lid. I didn't even dip into the actual pan because this is literally a blinding highlight. I love Wet n Wild highlighters. They are so affordable and I think they're honestly the best highlighters even from the drugstore high end. They are my favorite highlighters for sure. And this one's definitely my new favorite. It's perfect for my skin tone. But I just have that highlighter. Like, come on now. And so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching.